In this video I'll make this crystal ball effect using GIMP standard filters. That's GIMP 2.8. Close this off. Load my image. It's a recent one I had. I took this photo with a reflex camera. So it's a personal photo. The first thing we need to do is add an alpha channel. We right click on it and then come down here and click alpha channel. Now we duplicate the image by pressing this duplication button. Now we go to filters and distort. And we go to distort, whirl and pinch. Click on that one. Brings up the little dialog. Now the, the whirl needs to be zero, 00. So you just highlight it and type in three zeros. And when we move to the next one and do some calculations, it puts the, the uh, decimal point in for us. The next one needs to be about um, minus 255. So we move it down until we get pretty fairly close to it. That's not too bad. I won't worry about uh, a couple of different... Uh, no, that one there. And then the radius, we move it up to 1.27. So that's close enough. No, it's jumped too many. OK, we click OK. Now GIMP goes through and does that whirl and pinch for me. Now we go back to filters. Distorts once again and apply lenses. Now this, this is only filters in uh, 2.8 so you need 2.8 for this effect. Click on apply lenses. The dialog pops up and we click on make surround, surrounds transparent. Leave the other settings as they are and click OK. And now I go to my scale tool, click on the the uh, image, and then pull the handle down and try and keep the the image in a circular pattern. That's okay, and then click scale. Go to the move tool. And I always click this radio button, move the active layer. Now move it over so it appears that the uh, Fairy King, as he calls him in the stories above, is just got his hand reflected in there and so is the cat. Now I go to my top image, right click on it and alpha to selection. Now I make a new layer by clicking the little icon there or the... Uh, the button and it make a new layer, a transparency. It takes the selection with it. So I go to edit and I stroke the selection and we stroke it with a line of six. That's because the image is a reasonably large one. I click on stroke. Now I go and turn that off. Go to select and select none. Go over here to the uh, Di di layers dialog and move that down so that black line now becomes a slight grey colour. That's the reason I made the transparent layer. So we could we could play with the trans the transparency of that that line around the the image. Now I right click the top layer and merge down. Now I go over to filters, light and shadow, and I put in a drop shadow. Now the script load is down the bottom, so I open it up. Now I can leave everything at default. Uh, the radi radius blur, you can change that if you choose, because sometimes the, the shadow is on a, like thrown from a crystal ball, is not as heavy. But I'll leave it at the default and click OK. Now the drop shadow layer is always left in the, uh, in the layers channel, so you click on it. Go to, to your perspective tool, click in there, grab a handle and drag it out as though there's a light behind a crystal ball. And you click transform. Now go to my move tool, 
we're still on the drop shadow layer and just move it out of the sight of the ball so you don't see the edge of the shadow that's about okay now I'll go to my opacity and move it down so you can see some of the text be behind the shadow click on the top layer right click and flatten image and that's our crystal ball tutorial so thank you for watching if you go to the website that's uh, shown in my description below you'll find a printout of all the instructions in this in a PDF file.